Hey, what's up, Pizza Goods? Uh, 3ds Max tutorial on how to create a building, and it was originally made from Academic Class Podcast, but I'm just gonna redo it and just explain you a little bit more, because he uses some shortcuts you might not know. So first of all, we're gonna start by creating a cylinder. Let's make it any size one and change the radius to seven point. I mean decimal. 549. So then you have that and change the height to 221 decimal 005. Okay, so you should have something like this, and then you could just move it this way a little bit. And then you're gonna click, right click on the perspective and click show edge faces, faces. And so you can have something like this, and then go to your top view, yeah, select that, and hold shift and drag here. Okay, hold shift and drag it like about in the middle. Okay, now you should have something like that, and now you just wanna go to shapes and <coughs> create a line and then you want to create a line here into the circles like that okay and, and okay, click yes okay now you should have something like this go to the modifier list and click ex extrude which is right here and it will change the amount to three two two so then it'll look something like that. And you wanna change the savings to 25. Okay. And you wanna change these the height to three three fifty. Like that in each one of them. V fifty. Oh yeah, and also you wanna change the height segments to thirty. Like that. So you'll look pretty Okay, and uh, this I'll change it thirty and the height to three fifty. Okay, now you should have something like this a basic building. And if you render it out, this is how it's going to look like. Okay. Okay, now you wanna start creating like that edged surface, like different modeling. So go to your modifier list and search the FFD four times four times four times four. You wanna click on control points. Oh, sorry about that. I did something wrong here. Okay, before you do that, you select your whole building. Go to the modifier list and go to FFD four times four times four times four. Okay, and you want to select the most top points here. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to go to your control points, so then select the top most points. And then right click scale. And you want to scale in the Z axis, just like that. Actually, wait, something's wrong here. Yeah, like that. Then you want to scale between right here. Let's scale it, and then you want ha you have a simple nice building. Um, you want to um check the show grid and put this button to have full screen, and you wanna. You select everything and select this building. Uh, you want to move it, and you want to hold shift and drag. Oh wait. Yeah, you want to hold shift and drag, so you have two copies of the building. And you want to click your first copy, and you want to. Actually, I'm just going to show you what I did here. You want to click this button right here and move modifier from the stack like that. 
Because then you have two basic buildings, and then you could just like this one. And you could hold shift, duplicate it, and make a copy of it, and then you, you could click on the control points and let's see, select some points. Maybe this one, and you could scale it. Maybe like this to make it a different shape. Do this, right click scale, and scale it a different shape so it looks much more like a you know, different shape. Okay, that's nice. And then you could add some materials materials to your object. To the building, I mean. So, I'm going to select this building. Just like this, this building, and just click M to bring up the material editor. I just click the first slot, and actually, I'm just gonna go on Google and just put some building texture like that. We got images. I just find a pretty nice image. Google image. Well, actually, not building texture, but wall texture. So you wanna, you're gonna have something like this, and just choose one for your building. I'm just gonna choose a random one. This tutorial, maybe this one. What we'll do you just click right, right click, save image as, and save it. Okay, go back to your material editor. Click on the diffuse button right here. Go to bitmap. Click OK. And you want to load the image file. So I'm just going to go to my desktop. And that's where I saved it. Okay, and click open. And uh, click this button right here to apply it. And click this cube. And then you could just click this button. And as you can see, it's applied. Oh, yeah, and um, minimize that. If you want to have. If you don't want the poles here to be the same texture, as you can see, it's the same texture. Um, you could just click on the pole and go back to the material editor. Click on the new one and go back to the wall texture and just load up a new pole. Wall texture. Um, maybe you want the, your pole to be a different texture, so. Let's say you want, um, I don't know, like this maybe. <coughs> oh, never mind, show some water park. Right, but anyway, you just click a random one and save the image as usual. I'm just gonna wait until it loads. That and save it. Um, just gonna get pull texture. Okay, and. Go back to the DS Max project and click on the diffuse button, bitmap again, and load it up. This is basically how to have textures to your pole. And could do the same thing as I you did in the first one. And there you go. And that's basically how to um, apply this as your texture and do the same thing with that. Okay, and do the same thing. <coughs> you got some new textures. Um, let's see here. How it looks like. Okay, yeah. You could have, you could have like m much more better textures, but adds basics, and you could do the one to this building and this building add some nice textures, so it will look like a really nice building okay and thanks for watching part one i'm gonna make part two of building tutorials and um goodbye so yeah